Conflict Resolution in Group Study Addressing the Elephant in the Room Hello everyone! Today, we're diving into an essential skill not just for group study but for life in general. Conflict Resolution and Problem Solving More specifically, we'll explore how to identify and address conflicts within a group. So, if you've ever faced challenges while studying in groups or just want to improve your team communication, this video is for you. Before we can address conflicts, it's crucial to identify them early. Here are some signs. 1. Tension in the group. You can often feel when something's off, even if it's unspoken. 2. Frequent interruptions. Members cut each other off or dismiss ideas quickly. 3. Passive-aggressive behavior. This could be in the form of sarcastic remarks or backhanded compliments. 4. Avoidance. Group members avoiding each other or specific topics. To solve any problem, it's crucial to get to its root. Here are common sources of conflict in group studies. 1. Differing opinions on the study material or approach. 2. Varied commitment levels. Some members might be more dedicated than others. 3. Personality clashes. Not everyone will naturally get along. 4. External stressors. Sometimes, personal problems can bleed into the study environment. Now, let's discuss how to address these conflicts. 1. Open communication. Encourage members to express their feelings without judgment. Use, I feel, statements. 2. Establish ground rules. These can include taking turns to speak, respecting each other's views, and setting specific goals. 3. Seek neutral ground. Sometimes, changing the environment or taking a short break can help diffuse tension. 4. Compromise. It's okay not to agree on everything. Finding middle ground is often key. 5. Consider a moderator. Having a neutral person can help in ensuring everyone is heard and that discussions remain productive. Conflicts, when resolved positively, can strengthen the bond between group members. Here's how you can move forward. 1. Reflect on the conflict, understand what went wrong and how you can prevent it in the future. 2. Celebrate the resolution, it's essential to acknowledge when the group overcomes a hurdle. 3. Foster positive relationships. Spend time with group members outside the study setting to strengthen bonds. Thank you for joining us on this journey to understand conflict resolution in group studies. Remember, conflicts are natural when people come together but addressing them effectively can transform challenges into opportunities for growth. We hope this video helps you enhance your group study experiences. Happy studying!